Which trading term is the best? FOB, XW, CIF, or DDP? Are you a seller or buyer who wants to know about these terms? Do you import or ship products more often and enjoy reasonable shipping rates? If so, this video on the common trade terms is for you. When importing products from China, you would have to find reliable suppliers. After you find suppliers, you can get quotes from them. But in the international trading industry, there are several things to remember. Most importantly, when you are purchasing from manufacturers in large quantities. You may have heard of trade terms like FOB, XW, CIF, DDP, etc. But you might be confused about what costs they cover. You might not know the best choice when getting quotations from Chinese suppliers. If that's the case, I'll introduce the most frequently used trade terms. I'll share the scenarios these terms apply and which one is best. Finally, I'll tell you which trade term is most popular. All right, why is choosing the right trade term slash incoterm so important? Let me tell you before going into explaining the terms. So, you need to clarify the trade term used for your order. You would have to do this before getting quotes from suppliers. That's because importers have different requirements on where suppliers should hand over the products. They can either be a port or the supplier's warehouse. Accordingly, suppliers' responsibilities would vary with different trade terms. In international trading, there are tens of trade terms. The International Chamber of Commerce, ICC, publishes a book every two years. They regulate all the trade terms every time they publish a book. Please don't panic. You don't have to memorize all of them. Many of these terms are only helpful for large quantity trading. The most frequently used trade terms are FOB, XW, CIF, and DDU or DDP. Now let me discuss these trade terms one by one. I'll give real-life examples to help you understand the situations where they apply. So let's get started. Number 1. FOB Price FOB is the most famous trade term, but a lot of tutorials on the internet are misleading you. You don't have to go for it all the time. The truth is, FOB is not the best choice for everyone. It's not best for new e-commerce sellers and small businesses. People using courier services, like FedEx as the delivery solution, should avoid it. For these importers, FOB would just lead to unnecessarily higher prices. FOB is short for free onboard. If the supplier quotes for FOB price, it includes multiple costs. Asterisk cost for sending the product to the vessel in your appointed seaport. Asterisk costs for sending the products in an aircraft in your appointed airport. Asterisk costs caused during the importing and exporting process are covered as well. You cannot ask the supplier, can you give me a FOB price for these wine glasses? Foam prices are based on a specific seaport or airport. As an example, these might be FOB Shanghai or FOB Ningbo. That is to say, you should have a preferred port of shipment. You can ask a supplier if you don't know about the shipping port. They will tell you where their closest seaport is, so let them quote you the price based on that. Here is an example. Let's say you find two suppliers. One of them is in Dongguan in the south of China. He'll quote you the FOB Shenzhen price. Why? Because Shenzhen is only less than 100 kilometers away. Typically, the supplier from Suzhou would quote you the FOB Shanghai price. That's because it's less than 100 kilometers away from Shanghai. Let's discuss another case. Suppose you buy 40 CBM perfume bottles from a supplier in Suzhou, and you buy 28 CBM bags from a supplier in Dongguan. You can load both suppliers' products on the same port, so you can ask these two suppliers to quote you FOB Shanghai prices. You'll have to spend separately on sending the bags from Dongguan to Shanghai. It turns out to be around 1,000 kilometers. So, if you don't want this, try to replace the Dongguan supplier. You can go with another bag manufacturer located closer to Shanghai. Number 2. AXW Price AXW stands for X Works. It's the original manufacturing price of the products. It does not include any service or domestic shipping cost. You'll need to find your own freight forwarder. They'll pick up the products at the supplier's warehouse in China. So, to know the original product price, ask your suppliers for the EXW price. Other trade terms are not helpful for your product research. As I mentioned earlier, suppose you're using courier services like FedEx for shipping. In that case, let the supplier quote you the EXW price. Courier companies will travel to pick up the products at the supplier's address. Number 3. CIF Price CIF price is also a very commonly used trade term. It's short for cost, insurance, and freight. 
For the insurance, remember that it doesn't cover products damaged during shipping. It only helps when the whole shipment gets lost. When can you ask the suppliers to quote for the CIF price? So there are two most common cases for choosing this term. You don't have a freight forwarder for shipping products. You don't want to get help from a freight forwarder. They will ship the products to your country's appointed seaport or airport. You need to find the local logistics company. Plus, find the customs broker to handle the customs clearance. You'll have to arrange the shipping from the port to your warehouse. Here I need to tell you a fact. The freight cost in the CIF price is just a very small part. It does not much affect the total shipping cost. The biggest part of the fees includes the costs of the import process, plus the shipping fee from your domestic port to your address. For example, the sea freight costs in the CIF are around $50 per CBM. Suppose it's from China to the airport in the United States. But do you know what the actual total shipping fee will be? It'll be around 200 to 300 US dollars per CBM. So, don't be surprised. The freight costs included in the CIF price are expensive. You'll get good shipping rates from the American seaport to your warehouse. Number 4. DDP and DDU Price DDP is short for Delivered Duty Paid. Supplier quotes include all shipping costs from the Chinese supplier to your country. The supplier will pay all the costs for the import and export processes. They will also pay the customs duties. It's very suitable for those importers who don't have any shipping company resources. Plus, those who don't want to bother with the shipping and import and export issues. So, suppose you are doing product research. You want to know the cost of importing the products from China. Just let the suppliers quote you the DDP prices. The DDP price includes import duty paid, but some suppliers still prefer the buyer to pay the customs duty. And yes, before the product is delivered. This is called DDU price, short for delivered duty unpaid. The trade term DDU was cancelled in the INCO term 2010, but it's still widely used. For example, the supplier doesn't have freight forwarders for shipping to your place. It means your supplier cannot help you pay custom duty. They would not be able to quote you the DDU price. Now, which one is the most popular trade term? So it's FOB. Why? Because of these three reasons. Number 1. Hollow balances risk and control. For most situations, FOB strikes an optimal balance of risk and control for importers. You can save the cost of origin export charges. Your supplier will pay these charges. A designated freight forwarder stands for your interest. So you can control shipment. Number 2. FOB includes customs clearance. Clearing export customs is often challenging. It becomes a headache when the importer is unfamiliar with the country's legislation. Under FOB, suppliers are responsible for clearing goods through customs at export. It includes export clearance documents at the port or terminal. Number 3. FOB is cost-effective. FOB is arguably the most affordable or cost-effective option. Under FOB, the importer can control the shipping process. You can control shipping from when the vessel leaves the port. You can't track goods moving from the seller's warehouse to the port. Now let me tell you which trade term is getting popular now. So these are DDP and EXW terms. But why? In DDP, the supplier must pay for all import and export costs. The buyer is not responsible for any fees related to the shipping of the cargo. It's a bit expensive, so you must calculate your profit margin. Under XW terms, sellers and buyers both get benefits. Sellers only cover the minimum scope of responsibilities and costs. Buyers can control the entire shipping process to ensure the products are safe. They can also lower shipping costs by better forecasting costs. So which is the best for you, FOB, XLU, CIF, or DDP price? I recommend going either for FOB or EXDO. FOB is highly cost-effective and ensures risk control and safe shipment. XDO gives you complete control of your product's shipping. So it's up to you now.